Good morning and welcome to our weekly briefing. So let's start off this morning with an update to our members. Since last week, 1,484 more Philadelphians have been diagnosed with COVID. As of yesterday, we're seeing an average of 256 new cases per day, which is one, once again, slightly lower than what I reported last week. 3% of test results we're receiving are positive, which is unchanged from last week. And I'm extremely pleased to report that as of yesterday, more than 85% of adults in Philadelphia have gotten at least one dose of COVID vaccine and more than 70% more than of adults are fully vaccinated. You can see these figures for yourself on our newly updated COVID vaccine dashboard. Go to phila.gov slash COVID, click on data and then on vaccine. You'll see that we've separated out information on people who have at least one dose and people who are fully vaccinated. So you can see the demographic breakdown for both of those groups. One of the new additions is that we're now reporting the percentage of people 12 and over who have received at least one dose or are fully vaccinated in addition to those numbers for people age 18 and older. More than 79% of eligible Philadelphians have received at least one dose and nearly 65% of eligible Philadelphians are fully vaccinated. So that's for that 12 and up group. We're also now publishing the number of third doses administered on that page, which has gone up by more than half in just one week. Now more than 16,500 Philadelphians have received a third dose of COVID vaccine. So now that we're talking about vaccines and how important they are, I wanted to talk a bit about deadlines. First, if you're looking to bring thanks and holiday spirit to your Thanksgiving table and not COVID, you still have time to get your vaccine beforehand and be fully vaccinated. So in order to be fully vaccinated by Thanksgiving, you would need to receive your first dose of Moderna vaccine by October 13th, which is next Wednesday. That way you can get your second dose by November 10th, and then you'll be thankfully fully vaccinated. Thank you, Jim Guerra, for that. If you would rather have Pfizer, you have until October 20th, the following Wednesday. You'd get your second dose November 10th. Again, you'd be fully vaccinated by Thanksgiving. And of course, for Johnson & Johnson, you would just need to get your vaccine by November 10th in order to be fully protected by Thanksgiving. But really, why wait? If you want a single dose of J&J, &J, or you want Pfizer or Moderna, there are clinics and pharmacies all across the city that would be delighted to see you today. Then you don't have to worry about those holiday deadlines. There is another deadline that we need to talk about today though, which is the October 15th deadline for university staff, students and faculty, and for healthcare workers to be fully vaccinated. We've seen from other places that have implemented vaccine mandates that they work, that workers do step up and get their vaccines despite lots of anxiety before the deadlines. I want to thank the many healthcare institutions, colleges, and universities that have been working hard to implement the mandates. I have also heard from many groups that are concerned about being able to meet that deadline, particularly from our behavioral and home healthcare providers whose staff have lower vaccination rates. My goal is to get everyone vaccinated and not leave our healthcare and higher education systems shorthanded, especially when we know that folks are making an effort to get vaccinated. At the same time, we know that these are settings where people are at risk from COVID and where an unvaccinated staff member could easily spread infection. So we're making some temporary accommodations to allow a little bit more time for these groups to get vaccinated. For healthcare staff in hospitals and long-term care facilities, and for everyone in higher education, they will need to receive at least one dose of a COVID vaccine by October 15th, rather than being required to be fully vaccinated by that date. That is next Friday. They would have to get their second dose if they get Pfizer or Moderna by November 15th. Hospital, long-term care facility, and university staff, students, and faculty who don't have approved exemptions and who don't have that first dose by October 15th, next Friday, or if required their second dose by November 15th, would be out of compliance and could not work or study in those settings. All other healthcare workers except for those in hospitals or long-term care facilities, will have one additional week beyond that accommodation until October 22nd to receive at least one dose of a COVID vaccine. They would have to get their second dose by November 22nd and would need to be tested twice weekly until they're fully vaccinated. To reiterate, staff, students, and faculty at universities and healthcare workers at hospitals and long-term care facilities need at least one dose by October 15th. 
all other healthcare workers need to receive at least one dose by October 22nd. Second shots for those who choose Pfizer or Moderna need to be completed one month after the deadlines for first shots. My hope is that this additional time will help to get all of these workers over the last hurdles to accepting vaccination. As always, if a business or an institution wants to be more strict, they can be. I know that I just threw out a lot of dates and deadlines and timings and it can be confusing, but if you wanna make it super easy to remember, think of it this way. If you're not vaccinated, get vaccinated today and then you don't have to worry about any of these deadlines. To wrap up, if you'd like more information about the pandemic and the city's response, you can visit our website at villa.gov slash COVID. If you have questions, please call our COVID call center at 215-685-5488.